Source. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. read my mini review of Underwater, and you can tell me if you kind of agree with it or not. Um, I think it's a passable sci-fi thriller that falls short of being a decent horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, uh, it stars Kirsten Stewart, and um, those of you who don't know her, she is um, Bella from Twilight. So um, I don't I'd think be surprised they wanted if you to do that. know that because even if you haven't watched it, it's it's probably one of the most hated franchises in the world today. So um, I'd be surprised if you didn't know that name. But uh, yeah, she's in it, and she's she's okay, decent. I'd say she's fairly fairly decent in it. She can carry the film for the most part. The other characters, there's um, there's this other actress that. From uh, the Iron the Iron Fist TV series, he plays Colleen Wing, and um, she's probably she's probably my favorite in the whole thing, honestly. And, yeah, uh, Christian fun. has uh, she's got the lesbian hairstyle in uh, in this one in Underwater. Well, well, well it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I think she's pretty straight in this movie though, because uh, there was a mention of a boyfriend and whatnot, but. It's uh, it's basically set in this for it's they're in the deepest part of the deepest part of the ocean, and um, basically they're drilling for oil, I think, and uh, there, there's something that happens. There's a breach to a um, alternate, well, not an alternate. There's a, there's a breach to a separate part of somewhere, and uh, these creatures come out of it and uh basically it's been it's about this team of people <laughs> yeah, to just yeah. Have a specific rim for the main plot of the movie yeah yeah oh god yeah so basically they're drilling they're 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 drilling, drilling. get a hole get no, some monsters yeah but apart this hole is like the prequel to pacific rim or something yeah the actual <laughs> it's, they get oh, yeah. juice coming out soon it's an actual uh, good prequel not like the second pacific rim that was a terrible what second movie. Pacific Rim. Exactly. Pacific Rim was exactly. Horrendous. What Pacific Rim? There yeah. was only one Pacific Rim movie. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I agree. There is only one. Yeah, there is only one. Yeah. The second one never happened. No. But uh, underwater, I think it's it's. I th- I would say it's watchable. I'd say it's watchable. There were parts that you know kept me you know feeling. Now I've seen. Now I've and... seen the review scores for mo- for all of these, and uh, if this is watchable, yeah. I don't know about the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the rest of them is um, but that's underwater. Nathan, what are your thoughts on underwater before we talk about the next movie? Um, so the plot was I'm nearly sure that they were drilling right um down yeah. to grab what what were they trying to get? They were trying to, yeah, it was oil, wasn't it? I think so. I honestly can't remember. Right. Was that, it's they were drilling Probably for something. Oil, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so they were drilling for something. Um. But apart, it, it wasn't that when they breached a hole that it was a different universe. It was more of it was a pocket under that like surface layer that they thought was the the bottom of the of uh, of the ocean, um, that they drilled into a pocket. I'm nearly sure, and that's where all these creatures were. If I'm yeah, right, that's basically it. Yeah, so it wasn't actually like a breach to a new world or a different universe or anything like that um so yeah i can i can understand with you saying like their main plot was basically pacific rim's main plot yes and no it didn't have it, it features it features that yeah yeah it does. does yeah yeah it has it has yes, it, if you put it down in bullet points it's basically it's just it, small yeah, details of yeah just yeah, it's yeah. a team it's a team of people trying to get from point a to point b with a bunch of monsters in between I mean, isn't that every fucking movie? Yeah. Well, not every and, movie, uh, but like every movie with monsters in them. You know, it's like, you know, they're, they're yeah, always yeah. going from point A to point B. Do you know what I mean? So then you could just say like, every movie copies the first ever movie that had monsters in it. You you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. No. Yeah, but it, when you're describing a movie's uh, premise and then you're like, Pacific Rim? <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a, yeah, bit of no, a problem. No, you I'm, instantly I'm, just recognize the movie. That's yeah, like, no, I'm not saying. It. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Um, that that that. 
like there's I, nothing I, I, wrong with just rehashing the same thing. But. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand like where you where where you get this from. I especially watching this movie. Um, I did have that f- feeling of once they said they've breached a hole after dr- like 100% it was straight up this is just Pacific Rim but it it does have a different concept that it's not giant robots it's not giant uh, actually in fact there was uh, I can't say it we're not going to spoil right. anything right. 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 Uh, but no it's actually Right, no, actually, Aaron, do you know what? I am going to, I am going to, because do you know what? Now thinking about it, this is Pacific Rim. 100%. It's Pacific Rim 1 and 2 put together because what happens at the end of Underwater, right? Before I talk about it, this is a spoiler, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it and come back to the to the video. But what happens at the end is all these, like, little aliens, right? They're about, they're about... 11, 12 foot tall, with tentacles and everything like that, joined together on this huge ass fucking monster, which is what Pacific Rim done in the second one. They joined up three monsters to create this huge fucking Goliath and fucking god of a That's fucking monster. Happened. Yes, they, yes, it did. That's... In Pacific no, Rim 2. Oh, well, in Pacific Rim too, but that's not what happened in Underwater. Yes, it is. At the very end, they all gathered up on this huge-ass fucking monster. Yes, it did. Yeah, the, the, there was a big monster, but it didn't come from the rest of the Wii monsters. No, 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 but I'm saying they all gathered up on it as if they were the the uh, the <laughs> defense mechanism for this monster or whatever. Like, that they were the outer shield for this monster. If you get me, like it was yeah, exactly it was like Pacific Rim. Now thinking about it, sorry, I, I, I I'll take it. Take back. Everything. What? There was, the, there was the queen and all of its little workers, basically that. I mean, you could say that about Pacific Rim too. Like there was, you can, yeah. the, the, like, you know what I mean? Like these little fuckers can run it out of whatever. Wrong, this is just gonna. This is nonsensical yeah. at this point. So, Alex, are you sold on seeing this movie? <laughs> I, I am so I am stars. I am sold on skipping this movie. No, Definitely. no, 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 no. I would I would suggest watching this movie because of the fact that it's got a concept of Pacific Pacific Rim two, and it does it better. It does it better. There's no yeah, cr- that, there's no cringy one liners. Better than that though. No, no, no. But there's no cringy one liners of, I'll see what I can do, and then fucks off. It's. Proper I don't mind acting. the cringe one-liners. I don't mind that. that that's just all Pacific Rim. But that's all Pacific Rim Two was about. Was just cringy one-liners trying to promote a f- what's his name? I know his name's Finn in Star Wars, but what's John, his John John Boyega? John Boyega trying to promote him as much as possible. His acting was completely terrible in Pacific Rim. But this, I wouldn't this... necessarily say they were trying to promote him. They were just hoping that the money would make. They were hoping the money, the movie would make money because of him. They weren't trying to promote him. Well, yeah, they, they were trying. They were, yeah, they were promoting him. Movie. They were promoting him so much to try and pull that audience in because they thought he had to pull. He didn't. Well, he he might have a little bit, but his acting was terrible in that movie. It was complete trash, and that is why Pacific Rim. I don't know if it's flopped, but it should have. If it has flopped, I think it's that's the reason. Oh, sure because his acting was completely terrible. Right? Can we all agree that the two, the two actors that showed up in the first Pacific Rim, like in that whole Pacific Rim, were really, really good. Yeah, the first Pacific Rim was great. Charlie Hunnam was in the first one. Yeah, uh, Idris Elba was in the first one. Fucking top shit. Yeah, it was and, really, um, really good but, acting. But, but, but let's stay on topic here. Underwater, Nathan. I have to ask you out of either five out of five stars or a, 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 a 10 rating what would you give it because i give it a three stars out of five hmm. so that's basically a six out of ten three stars out of five yeah i would give it a i i would give pacific rim a three so i would definitely give this a seven Six, six and a half. Okay, that, six that's and a half confusing. Seven. Six and a half, seven. 
That's a lot. Yeah. You think it's an above average movie and you liked it? Yes, yeah, yes, I, 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 I did I, like I, it. I think it's passable. I did I like it. Passable. And the reason for that is because at certain, like, it had, it did have that factor of, uh, it did have that scare factor. Because there, I was watching it in my bed late at night in the dark on my phone. And, like, all I could hear was this thing, like, going, like, and, like, you knew something was coming and you knew it was like the aliens. And I was just there, like, fucking tucking my feet under the blanket and everything like like it, it did it, it like to me it, it was yeah it creeped me out and it, for that reason i would give it a seven and it was it okay, was it was good fair. nothing cringy about it like i would watch it again 